This is Dr. Carol. This video is about greedy algorithms. Now, when we're talking about um, algorithm design techniques, we're more concerned about the how to get the answer and less about what data structure is used. And so let's talk about that in terms of greedy algorithms. So a greedy algorithm is one that, given current data, chooses a path or route that minimizes the cost of the result. 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 Okay, so for example, Dijkstra's and Prim algorithms are classic examples of this. And the goal of these algorithms is to find the minimum cost with each iteration. The vertex in a graph with the minimum cost is added so that to get the overall best solution. Now, when we're talking about greedy algorithms, two very important terms come up. They're local and global optimum, okay? A, my friend uh, Paul Black wrote uh, that local optimum is a solution to a problem that is better than all other solutions that are slightly different, but worse than the global optimum. Okay, so uh, the it the local optimum is better than those around it, but not necessarily as good as the global optimum. Whereas the global optimum is, is the best possible solution. Okay, so that's our working definitions for local and global. So what would that look like graphically? Well, let's take a look. Here we have a polynomial function. So, and what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the lowest cost, okay? So this would be a local minimum, and this would be the global minimum, at least for the point of view we have here. And so if, if we... If our algorithm, for example, could only look at about one unit um, on the X or Y range at a time, and we were about here on this graph in this search space, then where would where a greedy al algorithm would go is it would go towards this local optimum because it could only see from about here to here. And it could say, well, this is lower, so I'm going to go search this direction. However, if it was over here and it could only see from here to here, it would start exploring down, 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 and then it would stay here instead of going back up and it would find the global optimum. Okay, so greedy algorithms are not guaranteed to find the global optimum in general. Okay. Sometimes they do arrive at a global minimum. And um, an example of that is, for example, making change. And the goal of that is to minimize the number of bills and coins used to make change. So as a case in point, let's say you had $12.34 you needed to return in change. Well, you'd, you would take a greedy approach, would give you the best solution for U.S. currency. And that would be you'd start with the largest denomination possible. For example, you'd have $10, a $10 bill, and then two $1 bills assuming you're not using any $2 bills, and then a quarter, and then a nickel, and then four pennies. And that would give you the optimum, uh, the minimum, the global minimum number of uh, bills and coins to use. Okay. Um, sometimes a greedy algorithm does not arrive at the optimal solution. Uh, as an example of, of many, um, any been, anyone been to a concert or a large uh, sporting event and you're trying to figure out how to get out of that stadium parking lot fast the, and reduce the amount of time it takes to get out? Well, sometimes you take a path that looks short, turns out it's, it's, it takes a lot longer and you have to wait even longer. And so what would look good at first may not be. And so this is an example of a limited perspective and not knowing what the global solution would be. So please check out the other videos that talk about um, different uh, greedy algorithm approaches. That's it for this video.